It's new in Zingy Land. It's new in Zingy Land. Well, it's summer. <coughs> yes, it is. And we've been vacationing. Yes, we have. <laughs> so we've been slacking. I think yes, this is have. the least I've ever seen you since we've known each other. I know. It's, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's it's been a busy summer. So we've been busy doing that. But we're going to hit it hard in the fall. Good. And we're going to be doing some new packaging. Yes. New packaging. New packaging. Ooh, That's our, our next goal New to and meet. improved. Pretty packaging. Ooh, that'll be nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward to seeing that. And we'll be getting a, um, we can take charge cards pretty soon. Great. Yep. Yep. Oh, that'll make a big difference, yeah. too. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Um, so you have, we can't get you out of the bathroom. No, we're in the bathroom no, for sure. Bathroom. You can yeah. knock and knock on that door and these women will not come out. No, we'll they clean have, your <laughs> toilet. We'll make it smell good. And bath <laughs> we'll take bombs. the dryness out of your skin and yep. <laughs> scrub it up. Right. So yeah. what your first your first product was poo poo be gone. Yes. How's the, how's that going? Well that that just sells itself. Once they hear the poo poo be gone, they automatically know what it is and that's right. still a good seller. <laughs> yeah. Use this before you go and nobody will know. It works. It, yeah, it works. That <laughs> was Deb's line. line. It works. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we have to come up with a new commercial that has all your products in it. Yes. Yes, we do because we have the toilet bombs are real popular too. A lot oh, of people I love use those the toilet bombs. A lot of people use those if they have hard water, like well water, right? And it works really well on their toilets. But yet, this lady in Saginaw that carries our products, she only wants the body scrubs. She loves the hand scrubs. She oh, loves and, it. Oh, and those are good. You know, whenever I use one of those, um, I always think of you guys. But one day, I went to my uh, granddaughter's baseball game and i just i had just used one my hands were just you know how you get that feeling it's dry and we have them here in the studio and i scrubbed my hands real good with it and i went and and jen and i my my um stepdaughter we hugged or something and she ended up touching my hand and she goes oh my god your hands are soft i've had that compliment Uh too i was at a funeral and you know how you shake the hands right she goes your hands are so soft and it's like okay but they are because we use the product. Did you say thank you? I I make these hands. I did, and I Good. told her stop by for a sample. Good, and she didn't. And no. she's a mailman, so she she does a lot of paper, and that dries her hands out. So she really what has does dry she hands. look like? What does she look like? She doesn't do this area. She does more call calling, I think. Does she have blonde hair? No, she's oh, got okay. dark hair. Because there, one day there was a friend of yours in here, oh. and the, they bought a scrub. Oh. So, okay. actually, I have money for you. Oh, good. That's always good. Money's always good. Yes. And we, we make our products, and we like to sell them at a reasonable price, too, so that everybody can enjoy them. Right. And it's with a lot of essential oils, so they're calming and do good stuff for you. And I use that Poo Poo Be Gone as an air freshener sometimes. I do, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, sometimes, the my like, if you cook something, that, that sometimes that... That smell hovers, and that poop will be gone takes that away, too. I spray my shoes sometimes, too, with it. Do you? Oh, I, I didn't do. think of that. But let them dry. I, I, well, sometimes. And other smells hover sometimes as well. And I think you you know what I'm talking about. Farts. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we have tested that out, too. Yeah, we've tested it out. stinky <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe Deb does. I'm not going to own up to it. <laughs> well, I always tell people you should, when people come in here, I always say, well, you should get poo poo be gone because, you know, divas doesn't stink. Yeah, they don't and fart. That's they too. Girls too. Girls too. And they don't yeah, smell. That's, that's our little uh, headliner. Our SH dot 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 don't stink. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And that's true. And after girls too, they go, mm hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Or pretend it didn't happen. Who was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you smell that? <laughs> Who did that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my my husband it. gets blamed a Right, lot. right. One time we were in the grocery store and my husband left a gross one. And, and then he ran from me before I got a whiff of it. Oh, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> Because everybody it was thought it was stinky, you. Yes, and it was bad. 
It was bad. That was a little, uh, he's a stinker. That and I guy. know the older you get, the more you smell too. Yes. yes. So yeah. Why and is people that? that? People that have colostomies and stuff use this too. Oh, I have a friend that's a good that has, idea. Has one and she uses it. Very good. That's pretty stinky too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. So how do we get a hold of you? And you do allow other stores to carry your products. We do, yeah. So do. if so, if you own a store or you just want to use it for your own private use, how do we get a hold of you? Well, you can call you can call Sandy at 989-415-4345 or Debbie at 225-6090. And that's 989-989. But you can also go on Facebook and leave us a note. Very good. So it's Zingy, the Zingy Divas, or just Zingy Divas? I think it's just Zingy, Zingy Divas. Divas on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll put a little. Um, I think I think your I think your Facebook page is on the website, but I'll double check okay, and see. Thank okay, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So I thank you, ladies, as always, for being here. It's always more fun when well, you're here. Well, thanks for having us. My pleasure. So coming up next week, and I, I just can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about this. This is going to be something that we've never done before. Ooh. And I, it's more, I, it just, I get giddy just thinking about it. Here in the studio, we have Adrian Barker, the host of Adrian's P's and Q's, who lives in Arizona, who's doing a, a trip, a long trip that encompasses many visits all over the place. And one of their stops is here. And she'll be here next Monday and Tuesday. She's going to be on the show Tuesday night. But not only is she going to be on the show all the other hosts that live nearby are too. Bravo, bravo. So that's Julia, Zulika, Jeanette. You guys will be here. Adrian, um, one of the hosts from that show with those guys. Will Eric, they be here? And I'm oh, going to try no. to get Pat that's to trouble. come too. Yes. <laughs> and um, Third and Johnson. Oh. Uh, is going to make us some nummy foods. Ooh. So I, it's going to be a party. And, of course, Vino will be supplying the wine. Vino Wine Warehouse is what our wine, wine supplier. What wine did you drink tonight? We drank a lovely Chardonnay tonight. And it was mighty yeah. good. Very, very good. I can't remember the vintner. I better go get that bottle. Yeah. But it was good. It was good. Always good from Vino 5, 10 East Midland Street. Go see him and tell him that the diva sent you, and I guarantee you that he'll give you a good deal. He gives us really good deals on cases of wine. Yes. And um, I believe that Sid Sid's going to be here from Monate. Oh, good. good. And, um, oh, it's, it's just going to be really fun. So make sure you tune in next week. And I think I'm going to keep that show on for a long time. I want to wish my friend... A, a very get well. I have two friends that are well. One friend's husband is very ill, and we are all praying for him. Travis, uh, Jamie's husband, Let's keep him in your prayers. And a woman from Flint, and I don't know if she'd even want me to tell you her name, but re just think about her. I better ask her before I, I say. So, very, very ill people. And, you know, it's just about a year since I lost my friend Kat. Mm. And so, it's kind of a time that I think about my last days with her. And my last words to you are, if you have a friend that you love, make sure that you spend time with them. Because you never know what's going to happen. Right. So, that's my last words for the day. And... I have to say thank you to somebody. Okay. I have to say thank you to my brother-in-law, Timmy Stricker, who saved my cat's life. Yay. Good, Timmy. Thank you, Timmy. Yes. yes. Thank you, Timmy. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sandy, do you want to say anything to anybody? I don't. Just thank everybody. Okay. For just being alive. Good. Like, staying, staying alive. alive. Staying alive. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. And thank you again, Dr. Michelle Joy Brown. 
for being our guest. And thank you, Zingis, for being with us here in the studio. So until next week, be Be real, real, stay stay true, true, know know who who you you are are and what what you believe, believe, because because you are the the devolution. devolution. Evolution Show is a W4 Divas production hosted by Deb St. Hilaire and produced by Josh Sherrill. All rights reserved.